currently 7 30 on a rainy monday morning but i wanted to just film more day in the lives for you guys show you more typical wake up till go to bed type days i think these are really fun to watch from other youtubers and they're fun to create so i'm excited to do that today i did wake up at 6 30 ish um this morning and then got out of bed at like 6 25 felt like i wanted to start my morning with some greens so i used my ag1 powder um and so on the rare occasion some days i start my mornings drinking a cup of my greens powder instead of coffee first i wanted to get up early today because i just have a lot of things to do it is a caroline work day so i meet her at the office at nine but i actually just want to get ahead on some personal work like youtube type stuff i have like a concept i need to write for a brand and I need, oh, this isn't YouTube stuff, but I need to pay my sales tax for Dream Daily. It's literally due today. I normally don't work at 7.30 a.m. I'll go for a walk or something, but I am going to try to knock out those two tasks before breakfast. All right, let's go. And of course, at the start of the day, I like to write out my to-do list and time block. I'm gonna wait to time block because we've been filming that for TikTok at the office, but my to-do list is already growing and it's growing into tomorrow as well. One of the tasks I needed to done took me about 30 minutes and now I'm making, you guys know, the go-to breakfast. It literally, when I just don't know what to make, is what I make most of the time because I am just, that's pretty good, a savory breakfast gal. Breakfast is served. Okay, but before I head to the office, I wanted to show you guys some new clothing items I got from Princess Polly. You guys know they're one of my favorite brands. I've worked with them for years, and thank you to Princess Polly for us sponsoring this video. Princess Polly ships from within the US and you get free standard shipping, which takes about three to six business days in the US on orders over $50. Princess Polly also offers afterpay and shop pay to all US customers. So I'm gonna link all the items that I show you today in the description box and I'm gonna do a little try on with my measurements and the sizes I got so it's super easy for you guys to see. I also of course have a discount code for you guys. You can use this code for 20% off your entire order. There's so many options online. Party dresses to work wear, I find everything that I could possibly need for my next outfit on princesspolly.com. Okay, so the first thing is actually this nylon long sleeve top. I am obsessed with this material. It feels like a neoprene swimsuit. Like it feels like you're wearing a swim shirt. And I am obsessed with this gray color as well. I think this is a super beautiful shade. And they also came in a few different colors. And I love this top so much, I wanna get it in the other colors as well. I got a size six and it fits me perfect. It's stretchy where it needs to be, but also tight where it needs to be. Like, honestly, it's really surprised me and it's gonna be a go-to basic top from now on. The next thing I got is this black mini skirt. I am definitely not normally a skirt girl, but I feel like a skirt is just the perfect spring item. You can wear it with tights when it's colder. You can wear it without tights and a sweater. You can dress it up, dress it down so many different ways. This one is a great basic. It's just black. I was a little worried about the length because some of the other skirts I saw online were a little bit shorter or they had a slit. This one has no slit and I'm so excited to dress this up, dress it down. If you guys remember previously in one of my previous hauls and monthly favorites videos, like I've talked about these gold gloves that I wore all of November and December from Princess Polly. They were absolutely stunning. This is a top from that same material. So I really wanted to try it. It's just a beautiful, elegant top, perfect for a date night, a night out. The sleeves are like a sheer sparkly gold. So absolutely stunning. It kind of does fall off the shoulder a little bit. So you, if you're comfortable wearing this off the shoulder, I feel like that might be the best option or you can wear it kind of like half off the shoulder. And then it has a very open back. 
So I wish that I could wear no bra with this. I think if you wear no bra with it, like that's just gonna be the easiest way to go. It's stunning, it's beautiful. I may wear this more with like a jacket or with a pretty bralette that I would still be fine seeing in the back, but it's so pretty when it is just that open back. So keep that in mind, just whatever your bra preferences are, this does have a completely open back. It's not sheer in the front, but it's not a super thick fabric, so. Next, I have this faux leather jacket that's super oversized. It's this zippered bomber jacket with pockets. It kind of has like this sweatshirt cinching material here at the bottom. I wanted this to be oversized, but other jackets I've got from Princess Polly have been super oversized. So I even sized down and I got a four in this one. I still felt like I could go a size smaller. Like I'm normally a six, I got a four, I probably could have gotten a two just because I am more petite, I'm shorter, I'm like 5'3". So this jacket still looks very big on me. If you want the big oversized model off duty look, I think this jacket is perfect. All right, now for a very spring item. I gotta re-zip this up because I've worn this like twice now. Super cute pink floral long dress. I absolutely love the print on this. Peony print, there's pink and orange yellow flowers on it and the greenery, absolutely stunning print. The top is all, has this lace detailing that's beautiful. There's a tie top that you can adjust. The straps aren't adjustable, just keep that in mind. There's a lot of stretch and give to them. I would maybe size it down in this dress actually. I feel like I could have got a little bit smaller but it does also fit now. It is very flattering, especially in the waist. I feel like a lot of long dresses just go straight down. And as someone with kind of a figure and more petite, I like when they kind of hug and move with my body and it just makes it look Look more flattering the length I was really surprised with a lot of times these long dresses are also too long on me but but this dress with the with heels or with a shoe is a great length for me so I'm really happy about that it zips up from the side which is nice and I am so excited to wear this for spring then I actually got a little trendy accessory I just wanted a basic cloth headband you guys have seen how popular these are it's great for utility obviously like when you're washing your face at night, stuff like that. But we also have seen this trend come in, especially like kind of a school girl prep girl trend. And I wanna to try to get it in other colors too. So lastly for this little haul, I wanted to show you guys these boots. Maybe my favorite thing that I've gotten in this order. These are the Douglas boots. They're so cool, super. I am just obsessed with like the detailing down here at the bottom. It's just not your basic black boot. I've been eyeing these on Princess Polly for a while now and so happy that I got them this time. The only thing is I would size down in your shoe size. I ordered a size seven, which is normally my shoe size, but they are a little big. I can wear a big sock with them, but they're still a little big. So I would just recommend sizing down in your shoe size. I think then it will be perfect. So thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. Use my coupon code for 20% off shop those items and more in the description box links. Let's get on with this day in the life. Now I drive to the office. It's really funny that I like drive to work now. Um, I, I really do like it. Like it's helped me so much put like a beginning and end to my work days, even though I did start work at home this morning, but it's like when I get home later today, I'll know like i will able to work out and cook and rest. And it just adds such a nice boundary to my day and makes me feel more productive when I'm at the office because like I'm there to work. So that has been super great. I'll either play some pump up music or a podcast. As you can see, I bring so much with me, especially today. Like I needed to bring dish soap. I'm bringing my lunch. I have flowers for a vase. I brought more snacks, both my laptops. Like I bring so much. Got my dream daily tote and my base work tote ready to go. Here we are. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. The office looks so clean. Does it? I think I swept on Friday. I think that's oh, why. so clean. So it's now around 11 a.m. I'm here with Caroline. Hello. <laughs> and she's currently working on taking the video pod that we create for the email subscribers every month. So the first of the month, if you're signed up to my Dream Daily email list, you get 
this exclusive video podcast that I do and she's taking those clips and cutting them down for TikTok because we thought might as well just like kind of tease the content on TikTok since we have it. So that's going to be super cool to try out and just see how it goes. We also are having a little coffee break. Caroline made her... I'm a barista. <laughs> latte. I, she so is. Like, with the new um, frother we got. And she now is an espre Nespresso girly. An Nespresso girly. She really wants one. And this one is so good. Um, it's the Virtua, I think. And I like how it just coffee and espresso. I may try to do an iced coffee, which I normally don't do with my Nespresso, but I have ice and this, I want to use this like cold foam setting again. So we're going to try that. I also got this little chubby mug um, from Amazon. Well, I had mom get it for me for Valentine's Day and it is so cute. I kind of wish actually now I was doing hot coffee so I could use it, but it comes with a little coaster and everything. We're packing up, we're gonna head down to like the little co-working area near the office so we can have a change of scenery a bit. It's now 12.30. TikTok of packaging and order. This is a very popular TikTok um, style on our account. So we basically set up this tripod with the phone in TikTok. I do like three minutes clips. We keep the lights off in the office just because it's better for lighting. And then we have been having Caroline package them because she has her nails done and I do not. <laughs> so um, it looks better that way. And then we literally just have to move around the tripod for every little thing to get every little angle. And we should do all the trains on here. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Oh, wait, I need to plug in the mic too. Yeah. It is in this bag. We got a little mic. There she is. And then we also need the adapter. So that the ASMR packaging videos that everyone loves sound extra crisp. You guys are currently sitting on my Stanley, my Stanley cup, but Caroline just left for the day. Um, I was eating some of my lunch snacks. One of them, these little pepperoni cheese bites. They're so good, so easy. On my third drink of the day, this is just a little Sevia healthy soda. I only have like this much left, but I... I can't drink these like all in one sitting, so I like have half and then another one. Um, we need some updates on a shipment and the customer reached out. It's a European shipment, which I love being able to offer international shipping for my customers. A lot of you guys are international, but they can also be a pain and it's expensive for you guys and for me if things happen. So I need to call and like see what the update is because it's been stuck in the same place. It is so nice out. I'm back at the apartment. Now I am having my next snack of the afternoon. I've been obsessed with key lime lately, ever since I went to Key West and had key lime pie all the time there because it was so good. I got these Giovanni key lime yogurts. And then to make it an even more tropical springtime snack, I got the Trader Joe's toasted coconut granola. It tastes like summer, the beach in a yogurt snack. It's so good. All right, I touched on my makeup and the sun is out, so I'm going to film some clips while I have this good lighting because 
who knows when it'll come back this week. It is now 4.42 p.m. I just finished up work for the day. After my snack, I came and I had to quickly film some clips for upcoming videos. I have a whole other video I need to film this week too, along with this one. Like I have so much content that piled up this week. But um, I'm officially telling myself that I'm done with work for today. This was a long work day for me. I started working at seven something and then done at five. Sometimes I start at nine and get done at 3 p.m. Like you really just don't know when, when you work for yourself what your day is gonna look like. But I felt really good about today. Caroline and I got a ton of stuff done. And now is my favorite part of the day, my evening routine. I'm gonna put on a podcast, go into the gym. I'm gonna, of course, walk on the treadmill like I normally do. And also, I think I'm gonna do some strength training. Um, and then I booked a cycling spin class for tomorrow morning. So I'll have my cardio tomorrow. I'm excited to get back into spin classes. Transition into more of my chill time of day. After the gym, I shower, I cook, I put on the TV, I read. It's the best time of the day. I got to film most of my workout, but then now the gym was so empty when I got here, but now I'm the only one in here, but it was good. This was my walk. making homemade tomato soup tonight. I'm using, I always find my recipes on Pinterest or just Google. This one is perfect. It says it's like for one or two people. Um, so if like you live by yourself and you don't want a ton of leftovers, I think this is going to be great. I also just wanted to share with you guys me making it because I feel like tomato soup is a good recipe to just know and to have in your arsenal. I've made soups before, but never tomato soup. So I thought I would just bring you along on this cooking journey. First, we have to cut up half an onion. All right, now I am melting some butter and we are gonna saute the chopped onions in the butter. I'm not the best at chopping, so sorry if that was bad to watch for someone who added in some minced garlic this is the greatest cooking hack it's something my mom always used just buying the minced garlic you don't have to cut it up every time you need it it's so easy it's it's the best cooking hack saves so much time and then i'm going to go in with some basil i wish i had fresh basil but mine went moldy from trader joe's i just feel like trader joe's produce is the worst produce at least at my local ones it's really bad now it is time to add our can of tomatoes. And then this recipe, I'm kind of merging recipes. This recipe didn't call for tomato paste, but I'm going to use some because it called for it in another recipe. And I went out yesterday and bought it for this soup. So I feel bad not using it. Um, and I feel like it'll just add a little bit more flavor, right? So we're gonna add a couple, like a quarter of this tiny can of tomato paste. Time to add in our, oh, I got chicken stock. And I think I'm supposed to get chicken broth. I think it is different. It kind of looks the same. Okay, so I've realized I'm gonna need to put this into my blender because I don't have an immersion blender, but we're gonna add the cream in first. And this is what's gonna make it that pretty light red tomato soup color. Okay guys. Putting the soup in the blender was the way to go. It looks so good. Now I added a little bit more cream, tasted it, a little bit more salt, and now I'm so excited. Grilled turkey and cheese over here. I just put butter on two sides of sourdough bread. I did two pieces of cheese because I want it to be extra cheesy, and then some turkey slices and butter lettuce. And we got ourselves a dinner. So now I'm just going to watch some YouTube. I haven't been into any TV shows lately. The new Outer Banks season comes out soon, but I just have not been into any TV shows, I haven't found anything to watch, so I've just been watching movies at night, but tonight I, it's already 7.30, so I don't really feel like putting on a movie, so I think I'm just gonna watch YouTube and then do a lot of reading tonight. Got my peppermint tea with honey, I have my Kindle, 
I'm trying to do the tandem read, guys. If you know, you know. But it is only 8.30 and we're having a very wholesome night, which is good because I feel like this week is going to be exhausting in a lot of different ways. So having a good early night on this Monday. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We really were together for 12 to 13 hours today from when I woke up this morning to going to bed. I hope it was fun to see a little bit of a normal day in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. It seriously means the world. If you have any video suggestions for me, please let me know because I want to create things that you guys want to watch. And good night. I will see you in my next video. Bye.